What up, y'all? I am back again with another video, and this time I'll be taking y'all through the process of how I do my quick weaves. All right, so all I'm doing right here is putting a heat protectant spray on my hair um, because, as you can see, I'll be blow drying it. And so the purpose of blow dryer serves is obviously one to get my hair dry and then two since i will be braiding my real hair up under the weave um, i like to try and get so here's a fun fact about me right i actually love 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 old school music and i was jamming like literally jamming to outstanding by gap band right here but i had to take this song out because of copyright infringement basically youtube wasn't trying to let me be great so the purpose of the blow dryer is to get my hair just a tad bit straight so that i'm not struggling through thickness while trying to braid my hair so now all i'm doing is parting where my leave out will be i'm gonna go ahead and section that off before i start braiding my hair um i just use the mirror to make sure i have enough hair left out in the back basically that's all i'm doing and right here, I'm just being super foolish. Um, all I do is just tie my leave out down with the rubber band. And then I will start the process to braid my hair. All right, so now what I'm doing is sectioning off the part that I will be leaving out. Um, and I actually didn't do this right. So later on in, in the video, you'll see where I kind of pulled more hair out because I realized that I really needed to leave a little bit more out. But right here, I pulled out the front part that'll be visible and then my edges on the side so that I'm able to swoop my hair back behind my ear, basically. And then all I do is just kind of braid that down so that it's out the way. So now I am starting to section off the parts for my braids. And with these braids, these braids do not have to be perfect. Mine are gonna be super big as you're gonna see later on in the video. Um, I'm actually not that great of a braider. I'm okay, but not that great. But anyways, these braids don't have to be perfect. They are going to go underneath the weave, underneath a wig cap, so nobody's going to see them, so it doesn't matter. There is no special design to these braids. I just braid them straight back all the way down, and then I tie the ends of them with just a normal rubber band. Um, me personally... After I, you know, glue all my weave down, et cetera, et cetera, as you'll see in this video, I don't really do anything with my braids underneath. So it's almost like if you put your hand under there, you can still kind of feel the braid like hanging, but you can't see it. So it doesn't bother me. If y'all would like to figure out a different way to kind of hide your braids, you can do that. I've seen some people like pin the braid up like almost like in between each braid, like the ends of it, but it doesn't bother me. But it doesn't bother me to leave my braids hanging underneath the weave. Um, if you can't picture what I'm saying, you'll kind of see it once I'm done with the braids. So I went ahead and fast forwarded to the part where I'm almost done with my braids just because the other stuff was pointless. So right here, all I'm doing is putting a little Ampro gel, yes, I still use Ampro, on my edges just to kind of keep my braids smooth, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why I do this, but this part is also the part where I realized I needed to leave a little bit more hair out than I actually had previously sectioned off. So after I finish up this braid, you'll see where I go back in and pull a little bit more of my edges out um, just because I didn't want the weave to be like right up on my edges, you know? So, so yeah. And again, as y'all can see, these braids do not have to be perfect. Mine are super big and bulky. It does not matter. They're gonna go up under your weave, up under your wig cap, and nobody is gonna be able to see them. I probably have about, let's see, let me count. One, two, three, four, maybe about six or seven braids in my head. Um, it's just kind of whatever you want to do. I mean, if you want to make your braids smaller, you can. If you want your braids to be bigger, they can be bigger. It is not going to matter. It's not the same thing as a sew-in. You know how like when you have a, a sew-in, you want your braids to be as small as possible so that you know there's no lumps or humps? It's not really like that because when you put on your wig clap, cap and when you glue the weave to the wig cap, it's gonna be virtually flat anyway. So this part, I'm taking this, I don't even know the name of this stuff. It's basically a protector, like it protects your hair from the glue. Um, and what you do is basically put it all over your hair, make sure you have a good amount, make sure it's saturated. And then, oh, this is the part I was talking about when I went back in and pulled some of my edges out. 
But anyways, the um, protector, bond protector, I don't know the official name of it. I can't, I can't remember. You put that all over your hair, make sure it's saturated. You just wanna make sure you use a good amount. So after you put that protector on, your hair does have to be completely dry or your glue will not stick at all when you get ready to put your weave in. So you can use a hooded dryer. Me, I'm just using my blow dryer because I don't have a hooded dryer, but your hair has to be completely dry. So now I'm going in with my wig cap. This is a regular wig cap and I actually use two. Um, I know glue is not the best for your hair, so... I really try my best to protect it as much as I possibly, possibly, possibly can. And so I am putting the cap everywhere where I am going to actually glue tracks at. Um, so everywhere basically up until my edges. Um, I do use two wig caps and I believe in most packages that it always comes with two caps. And so I put the first one on, make sure it's good, make sure it's secure. And then I put the second one on. I know y'all probably are like, but wait a minute, you have your leave out covered up. Um, I promise we are gonna get to that later on in the video. So here I'm just putting on that second cap and making sure that second cap is nice and secure. I wanna make sure the edges of the caps are like laying flat around my edges because I just want everything to be as nice and neat and flat as possible. All right, so now I'm going back in with that same bond protector because I want to put it on my cap now. At first, I put it on my braids, uh, made sure it was dry, put my cap on, and then I'm going to put it all over the cap. Again, I know that glue isn't the best for your hair, so for me, I just kind of overdo it just so I can make sure that I am protecting my real hair as much as I possibly can. And then I promise y'all, if y'all make sure y'all have enough of this stuff on, when you get ready to take your quick weave out, it will literally just glide right out once you run it up under warm water. Y'all, that little white piece that's hanging from my ear is from that um, glue protector. It like dries to like a glue almost. Oh, and another very important thing is when you put this stuff on your wig cap, you want to make sure you don't put it on the part where your leave out is. So you got to kind of estimate where your leave out is because if you put it on that part, your leave out will be so sticky and then you'll have to wash it and just start all over. All right, so I went ahead and dried that bond protector that I put on the cap and then I started gluing my weave. I fast forwarded all of the parts where I was gluing my weave just because, I mean, it's kind of the same repetitive motion. So now I'm to the part where I'm almost at the top and I need to see where my leave out is. So I take the scissors and I cut the cap around where my leave out is and you have to make sure you're very careful because obviously you don't want to accidentally cut your real hair because then you'll be super duper pissed all right y'all so we are in the home stretch so basically i have all of my tracks glued in i'm gonna go ahead and unbraid the leave out that i had sectioned off and then i'm gonna take the rubber band off of my leave out and just kind of prep it to press it out All right, so before I actually press my leave out, out, <laughs> I like to make sure it's blow dry just because, I don't know, for some reason when you blow dry hair, it gets a lot straighter than it would if you were just to take your flat iron and just try to press it out. Like, my hair is kind of unruly right now because I haven't really been pressing it out, and so it's not really that trained. So I definitely have to make sure I blow dry my hair first. And what y'all saw me do was, of course, spray my heat protector spray on there before I get ready to put heat on there. Um, then I blow dried it out. So now I'm taking Hask. I think it's keratin oil. And this stuff is like my holy grail. I don't like to use a real oil because I don't like heavy oil sitting on my hair. And with that Hask keratin oil, it's basically like no matter how much you put on there, like your hair will never be oily, like it'll never feel heavy. And it just gives it a really great shine. All right, so now that I'm done prepping my hair to be pressed, I'm going to go ahead and press it out. Flat iron that I use is an Ion Titanium Pro Gator that I got from Sally's. I'll put it in the description below the video if y'all are interested in buying it. So the rest of this section right here of the video, I'm just going to be finishing up pressing out my leave out. All 
So before y'all catch it, let me just go ahead and say I did not leave enough leave out. I do that sometimes, but it's all right. Ain't nothing I could do about it now, so I'm going to just have to make it work. But that's important when you're sectioning off the part that you're going to leave out. Please just make sure you are leaving enough out because you don't want people to be able to see your tracks. And I don't know if y'all can see that front part right there. That's where I really didn't leave enough out at. But with the way that I'm going to curl my bang, I'll kind of be able to camouflage it. So it's okay. Um, it'll do for the time that I plan on wearing this quick weave. So I'm not really tripping. Okay, so the hard part is pretty much over. And this is where the fun begins. So I have all of my tracks in, leave out, pressed out. And oh my gosh, <laughs> y'all, when I was going back through the film, I was making some of the ugliest faces. Like, I wasn't even aware that I was making these faces. So this is the part where I'm actually like cutting the weave to be the length that I want it to be. I want it like a blunt bob, a blunt long bob look. So that's why I'm cutting it with, with a razor. But I guess this was like really hard to cut. And so like my facial expressions were just like, oh my God, so extreme. Anyways. So all I'm doing now is basically cutting my weave to the length that I want it to be. Um, really what I wanted was like a, a long bob, like I said, but I kind of wanted like the side that my bang falls on to be a little bit longer than the other side. So like a super long asymmetrical blunt bob. See, there goes that face again. <laughs> yeah, like I promise some of the other ones that I actually cut out were like really extreme, like. Like, I was really getting into it. Um, yeah, anyways, so, yep, I'm just cutting my weave right now. And then after I cut it, that's when I'm going to go in and press it out and then ultimately curl it. Oh, okay. So I am almost done cutting. Now I'm just going to go in and kind of layer the front bang a little bit because I don't want the front part to be as long as the rest of my hair. Like I kind of want like almost like a layered feather kind of look when I get ready to put the curls in, if y'all know what I'm talking about. And again, all I'm using to cut this hair is just like your regular beauty supply store eyebrow razor. You know, the ones that be in the little clear jars at the front of the beauty supply store by the register. Yep, that's what I'm using to cut this. Um, I'm not a pro, y'all. I do what works for me, and using that razor is what works for me. So if y'all wanna use something else, you can, but this is what works for me, and this is what I like. I like the way that it gives me like a nice like feathered, layered look, and yeah. Cool, so now everything is pretty much cut the way I want it to be cut. Um, I am now ready to go in, press the hair out, and then go back in with the curling iron so I can get like that loose, like kind of beachy, messy, wavy look that I am going for. So again, I'm using my flat iron from Sally's Ion Titanium Pro. And for my weave, I do have the flat iron turned all the way up because it's not gonna hurt anything. It's weave, it's not my hair, and I want it to be as straight as possible because when you try to curl your hair, when your hair is not straight or when it's like frizzy and bushy, like your curls come out looking frizzy and bushy. And that's not the look I'm going for. Like I want like nice and sleek beach waves, kind of messy, loose curls. So I want to press the hair out. Actually, I lied. OK, I was lazy <laughs> and I didn't press this hair out to the best of my abilities. So. Yeah, but I did get it as close to straight as possible. Now my hair is all pressed out and ready to be curled. I'm just making sure everything is 
as straight as I want it to be before I get ready to put my curls in and make sure everything is blended. See, I told y'all, if y'all look in the front, y'all can't really see that I didn't leave enough leave out out. Y'all can't really see that piece of weave right there in the front. Well, you can if I get up close like that, but <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. Next and last step is to put the curls in. So the way I like to curl my hair is to literally split my hair into two sections. So basically I go down the middle of my head with my finger and take half, almost like you're doing pigtails. So I take half, put it in a, uh, um, a scrunchie, and then I work on curling the other half first just because to me, it I don't know, it just seems to move faster than going like row by row by row. It probably is like the same length of time, but it seems faster to me, and so that's what I do. So the curl iron that I'm actually using is a Conair. I don't know what kind. I'll put it in the description below if y'all are interested. And I really like to do my curls messy. Like, I don't really like for them to be, like, uniform because, I don't know, just it's not the look that I'm going for. Like, I'm going for a really super messy look. And so that's what I do. I just kind of pull sections. My sections are not the same size. Like, I really like to make bigger sections with the curl and iron because when you do smaller sections, that's when it gets, like, super big and frizzy. And I don't really want it like that. So... I'm going to take big sections, um, curl the sections, and then I just kind of like pull the curling iron down, if that makes sense, as opposed to like letting the curls go. I know that probably sounds like retarded. It probably doesn't make sense. But for some reason, when you like pull the curls down, like it kind of creates more of a wave than it does curls. And so that's how I like to curl my hair most times, depending on the look I'm going for. Sometimes I may be going for big, shrilly temple curls, but today is not that day, so... I'm trying to make these curls as messy as possible. So I'm going to do a few more curls just so y'all can see how I do them. And then I'm going to do the rest of my hair off camera just because it takes up a lot of time and a lot of space. And I know y'all don't want to watch a 40 minute video. So I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. And I am done, finally. Um, here, all I'm doing is just kind of going back and recurling sections that are not as wavy as I want them to be or not as curled as I want them to be. But overall, I am done. So what I like to do with my curls is take a wide tooth comb and go through them just to kind of make them all blend and fall the way I want them to fall. And it just kind of gives them that, like, again for the 15th time that loose curl loose wave beachy wave look um yeah that's pretty much all i do um really it probably takes me about maybe two hours to do all of this um if everything's prepped my hair's already washed um to braid it put the weave in put the glue protector on there and to actually curl it and do my hair about two and a half hours maybe two, two and a half hours. But this is super simple. Um, I've been doing my hair like this forever when I need just a quick look. Um, this probably lasts me about a month. I can wash this, but of course I can't like get in there and scratch my scalp and all that because then it'll just fly right off. Um, but I can't wash my hair with this. I'll probably wash it like twice before I end up taking it out completely. But yeah, this is the look. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. You can always leave them below in the comment section. Um, here's the, the rate comb that I talked about when I like to curl my comb my curls out. But anyways, leave comments in the comment section if you have a question. Um, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn your post notifications on, and make sure you like the video.